All right, thanks for watching. And today I wanna show you a little geometric intuition behind integration by parts that I found on Wikipedia. And I thought this just, it's too cool not to teach, really. So, um, what I wanna show you is basically that the integral from a to b of x prime of t, y of t, dt, equals to the integral from a to b of x of t, sorry, no, uh, almost. The integral of that equals to x of b, y of b, minus x of a, y of a, minus the integral from a to b of the opposite term, x of t, y prime of t dt. So here, x and y, they're functions of t. And uh, of course, the way I wrote it down is with parametric equations. So I'm going to use a little bit of multivariable to uh, motivate this. So suppose you have this parametric curve, x of t, y of t, that starts at a and goes up to b. y of x of b, y of b. And by the way, this is an intuition. It's not a substitute for proof. And so in general, the general point is x of t, y of t. General point, okay. And now I wanna tell you, ask you about sort of the areas sweeped, um, sort of the areas sweeped out by this parametric curve. So on the one hand, let's look at the area in the x region. So suppose this is, you know, I guess um, x1, x2, or I guess x of a, x of b. On the one hand, let's look at the area under this region. So, and let's call that the area a. What is that area? A. Again, using, you know, just a uh, sort of a calc one definition of areas. That is the integral from this point to this point. So x of a to x of b of just y dx. Remember the area under a function y from x is just the integral from this point to this point of y dx. Okay, that's all in good, but we want to write this in terms of parametric equations. So this is y of t dx is x prime of t dt. And because now we're dealing with time variables, we really have to integrate from the time you have x of a to the time you have x of b, which is really from a to b. So in terms of parametric equations, the area A is just the integral from A to B of y of t, x prime of t dt, which is the term we have here. On the other hand, we want sort of the symmetric terms, but with like dy's. So in fact, let's look at the area here. So again, this is uh, from, let's see, uh, y of, sorry, oh, little typo here. That's y of a, so an integral from, sorry, it's the area from y of a to y of b, and Wyoming, okay, y of b, and now let's look at this area b. Okay, I wanna keep this picture, but what is the area? In this case, we're dealing if you want with y as a function of x, sorry, uh, with x as a function of y, so now we have to integrate with respect to y. So, again, that was the area a, which again, I like to remind you, is integral from a to b of y of t, x prime of t dt. And now let's deal with b. 
let's remind ourselves if x is a function of y, then the integral just becomes the integral of x dy from that point to that point. So in this case, what we have to do, we have to integrate x dy, but from the lower point, which was y of a, to the upper point, which is y of b. And again, using the parametric equations trick, this becomes x of t, y prime of t dt, again, because dy, if you want, is dy over dt times dt. And because we're dealing now with the times, with the t variable, it's the integral from a to b of x, y prime of t. All right, this is wonderful. We calculated a, we calculated b, and now what is integration by parts? It's uh, another way of interpreting the sum of the areas. Let me erase this stuff, which I don't have much room, but I do have other colors, which I want to show you. So we have those areas. What happens if you add those two areas? Well, the addition of those two regions just becomes this Tetris block, if you'd like. And notice, it's precisely the difference of two areas, namely the area of this big rectangle minus the area of the small rectangle. So A plus B equals to the area of the big rectangle minus the area of the small rectangle. But what is the area of the big rectangle? Well, one side is x of b, the other side is y of b. So the area by okay, length times width is x of b times y of b. And the area of the small rectangle, this side is x of a, and the other side is y of a. x of a times y of a. And so what do we have? a plus b is x of b, y of b, minus x of a, y of a. But what is a? It's the integral of y, x prime. b is the integral of x, y prime. So, now I can erase this picture. What do we have then? So a plus b, which is again a, b, y of t, x prime of t, dt, plus integral from a to b of x of t, y prime of t dt, equals to, again, the difference of the areas, x of b, y of b, minus x of a, y of a. And I forgot how I wrote it at the beginning, but if you have this, you have this equals to that minus that. So solving for this quantity, you get integral from a to b of y prime of t, x of t, dt, equals to x of b, y of b, minus x of a, y of a, minus the other term, integral from a to b of x prime of t, y of t, dt. And this is just integration by parts. So, how cool is that? You know, like without even using the product rule or anything. Just by interpreting it as like the difference of areas and the sum of areas, we get at least an intuitive meaning of integration by parts. It's not quite rigorous because basically we assume this picture was such that the two functions are positive, they're increasing, you know, and everything is nice, but it's still really cool, I think. Math the magic, if you'd like. All right, so if you like this video and you want to see more math and magic, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.